welcome back to the channel and this is another hero breakdown video and today we are going to be talking about charlie now charlie is one of the very early game heroes and he is going to be useful to a good extent in the game and uh, because of that understanding what uh, sequence you should develop his skills in so he becomes battle ready as soon as possible now for the hero breakdown we are going to be focusing on skills the skill sequence the talent tree and potential pairs in which he can be a lead or mostly will be an assistant and his use in arena or in the field and how you can potentially make the best out of him so let's dive right into it so his first skill is a raid skill obviously in which he deals damage up to five um enemy squads in a fan shape area with a damage factor of 4000 now and he recovers 50 rage for every targeted hits now i bel if i believe correctly before awakening is three targets and the damage factor is 3400 and it increases to 4000 now one thing i would like to mention at this point to get him awakened i would not recommend using any universal fragments what i mean by that is for example let's go to skill when you see these uh, fragments over here at the bottom these are called universal fragments because there's no particular hero assigned to them so you can exchange and then use them. I'm not going to use it for Russell either because of the very reason. Their fragments are available for free. The more uh, radar biometric, I think biochemical monsters or zombies that you kill, you get, I think, two or three of Charlie fragments. So practically you get them for free. So might as well use that instead of your universal ones now back to his skills um so five enemies so he needs thousand rage to you use this skill but each time he uses use it if you are hitting five enemies you get 250 rage back which means like one fourth of the rage is back which is pretty good like, I don't think there is any other hero that gets that much of rage back that quickly. So he generates rage really well. Now, next skill is increases infantry squad defense by 18%. Now, that is a straightaway defense buff for infantry. And that is going to be active the moment you launch the squad. I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, increase infantry squad attack by 12% when attacked has 10% chance to reduce enemies damage by 10% on next turn now there are few things uh, that are being mentioned over here like squad attack next turn all those things those are very specific so I'm gonna do another video in which I'm gonna explain certain terms uh, I think it's going to be two videos. I have to break it down that way. So be uh, keep a watch out on those videos. I will mention uh, link this video with them when I post those to understand what this all means. And it is going to help you to see how other heroes and how other skills of any other hero is going to play out on the field, basically. Now, this effect can be triggered only once in 6 seconds. Now, this is something called trigger rate. This is going to be one of those terms again. Basically, every in 6 seconds, this can only happen one time. So That's basically trigger rate. But different heroes have different trigger rates. And this is a passive skill. So, uh, now, when garrisoning increase infinite squad hp by 20 percent 
now again it's a very standard so if you put him on garrison this skill will only apply to infantry squad so if say in your shelter you have obviously all type of troops like range riders engines this buff only applies to infantry not any not any other type of squad so that is one of the important points to note now um let's talk about his talent tree he has infantry garrison and skill now i have him first of all at 30 obviously i have 30 more to go so i have more points to add on my skill tree which i have not yet but i will eventually i'll see about that anyway so skill tree we have certain why do we go for skill tree most of the time you have you'll see people going for the skill tree because you get extra rage skill tree is one of those trees that give you extra rage now this uh, so every point say this one is squad attack 1.5 percent and defense by 1.5 percent travel speed by nine percent and then squad gains eight rage when using basic attack now basic attack is going to be one of those terms now some of these things i'll explain how they actually come in effect when you're battling to a zombie or to any pvp squad in a later video but it's good to note that okay outside of his first skill where he gets 50 rage for every target he gets this for every time he's using basic attack now gain 60 rage after using a skill so when any of this when he's using his skill he's gonna gain 60 rage back now 10 percent chance of gaining 20 rage when using basic attack now 20 more on top of this these all stack so if you see certain thing multiple times they are gonna stack and damage dealt damage increase again so this is one of the tree you have another infantry tree you get two rage using basic attack so again this is another rage generating skill but when this tree is gonna look complete mostly i'm gonna go for this one when leading only infantry squad because he does boost infant uh, infantry squad with hp and uh, where did it go yeah with hp and squad attack infantry squad attack and defense so might as well run him on infantry now what does that mean if you're not running infantry same that i explained with garrison you can have multiple troops in your shelter this buff only applies to um your infantry squad so if i'm running a march with say 177k troops now out of this i have only 100k infantry that's 77,650 is say rider arranged these buffs defense uh, increase or uh, attack increase is only applicable to my 100,000 infantry squad so the larger number of infantry troop or basically a full march this entire 177,650 is called a full march so if I have all of them as infantry, the whole buff will apply to my entire squad. And we all know that the when the squad shrinks, like when we are into the battle and our, say, squad start to, you know, get start to dying or the, go to hospital and stuff. Basically, when your squad start to shrink, the damage output reduces. So say out of 177 100,000 is infantry they are gonna last longer but 77,000 range of uh, ranged and riders they die off early on then your damage output on a hundred thousand squad is gonna be way less compared to what it would have been if you had entire 177k 
of infantry with the buff on top of it so get to a full march as soon as possible so that's very important now um when it comes to talent tree obviously um get to uh your uh, predators which get this one this one i'm kind of skeptical i usually don't get this one because it's a you get your uh skill damage increment but you also uh but skill damage taken also increased by 1.5% so it's go hand in hand so i um, if i really really need my damage for him it does not make sense because the skill damage is not that much but say if i'm running any other hero later on in the game you'll see luis is one of the heroes which have 12000 skill damage now we uh, considering buffing that skill damage makes more sense so there's a given take in that plus if you have another hero that is buffing your uh defenses or hp you can still go with this one now comes coming down to the infantry tree. i might not go for garrison tree because i usually use him on field so for that going to infantry guard so that means i'm going to come to no riding and so i'm going to get this and i'm going to get this and definitely going to take which if you are going for um say mm garrison then taking extra defense makes more sense because again because somebody is attacking your base you would want you might get to less than 50% eventually and at that, that time having uh extra defense does help but since i'm not going to go for infant uh garrison entry i might not go that route now so that is his talent tree now what about possible pairs so possible pair totally depends on the way you're using him if you're using him on field one on one put him as your i would say assistant just because of the fact that his first uh, if he, if first of all if it's a group fight say you are the uh one of those squads and you're fighting with your allies and there are other squads with say 5 10 other enemy squads you're fighting this is going to come in handy because you're going to get you're hitting mostly 3 to 5 squads at once for the most part so you get that rage generation going on very quickly plus his skill tree will help you to get that uh uh extra rage generation out and uh, if you put him with uh, another early on hero like liam now liam also has skill tree and uh, his uh, direct damage to one target is 6000 so in that case you can put uh, uh charlie as a assistant or a lead but mostly as an assistant with uh liam uh charlie usually go as an assistant to any hero to be precise so considering that his talent tree would not matter because he is an assistant but in some cases if you want to use him as lead um having skill tree and infantry tree as your talent trees will help you so that is about um Charlie and uh, in case you are using him in uh, arena early in the game put him somewhere in the middle where he is hitting as many squads as possible at once because that's when you get most out of his first skill he is basically known for his first skill even later on in the game when he is going to be uh, paired with say another legendary hero whom you want to you know be on the field as much as possible uh just because of the sheer damage output you want uh him to help 
the lead. Uh, by the uh, one particular hero that comes in mind for that is Vagodo, because his first skill is basically a shield that absorbs ninety six hundred k damage for up to three turns. So that means the more his shield is up, the more damage he's gonna absorb, and the longer he's gonna stay on the field. And Charlie is gonna do his damage while Ragoro is holding down the squad. So that's why Ragoro Charlie is one of the very good, very we can say common players you'll see on the field. Another one that you can run him with is Tom. Just be, um, because uh, Tom also has uh, um, his um, rage skill is pretty good. Like he does decent amount of damage. He pro- he provides healing, and uh, also reduces damage taken by you and nearby allies. Like three squads, I think it gets up to five squads later on. Yeah, it does. So by fifteen percent for three seconds, which is pretty good. You want this to happen as much as possible. So in a group fight, again Charlie is very good for a group fight. When it comes to one on one, he's still good, but for the group fight, he is very much. You can say, out of all epic heroes, he is gonna be one of the top choices for that. For now, to get him battle ready as soon as possible. What sequence you should develop his skills in? One would be like, obviously his first skill. Then let me see. Defense. Mm. I would say you can go with one, two, four, and three. Now this again. This is something um, I developed it, developed him with. Because the way I used him on the field and uh, you can say in arena and stuff, but it totally depends on how you want to use Charlie. So also, there's always a strategy guide. It says one, four, three, two. You can do that. So let's say one, four, three. Sorry, three and two. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was using him on Garrison, so I wanted him there in the beginning because we had some um, fights going on. So I wanted that extra defense, and I always train more infantry than any other troop. So again, you can go one, four, three, two as well. Again, totally depend on how you want to use him. And with that, that's all for Charlie, and uh, I'll. Come up with the next hero in the next video. And if you have any questions or comments, do let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys very soon.